Hi, this is Greg Koopman. In this video, I'm going to show you how to log into SQL Server under different user contexts. And um, the way you do that is basically you go down to your icon uh, or your program, depending the program, it depends. If you're in Windows 10, you might not be able to do that. But uh, in, I'm in Windows 10 now. If I go to the icon, I can. I press down the shift key and uh, then I right click on the icon and you'll be allowed to run as different user, which you see here. Okay, do that. So I shift key down, I right click, run as different user, and here I go in, I wanna type in Greg, I wanna type in my password. Okay, and now I'm going in as Greg. Connect under Windows Authentication. All right, and now I'm going to just go ahead and, and create a put a query window up here. Type in this command and run to see who the system user is. And yet, lo and behold, it is my username. Okay, so let's do this under a different context. And I'll put it under my son's name and uh, one of my sons. Let's see. So here I'm going to right click, shift. Run as different user. Goes to connect and it says, hey, login failed because he's does not in the SQL server. So he can't run it. So right there it validates that I was trying to log in as Matthew. Okay, so that's how this works. Okay, so I added Matthew to the SQL Server as a login. So he should have rights to get in now. So let's try this again. So now when he goes in, we use Windows Authentication. So it's looking at the username, which in this case is Matthew. And I do a new query and select system user and here we see it is Matthew down below okay so that's how how this all works so it's good for checking service accounts and any kind of account that in the security that's going to be you know when that user logs in what security they're going to have on different things like for example I gave him rights to car sales so he should be able to get into car sales and maybe look at something here he's um, he's got some a little bit of area here to work with. I guess he really can't do too much, but if he goes into Adventure Works, it automatically disqualifies him because he has no rights to that. Okay, so that's how it works. Thank you.